Hello everyone. Hello bosses. He he hi hi he he. Uh, this is Larry Wang from uh, Taiwan. I'm here to answer questions that a uh, brutal mind posted about a few days ago. It's called uh, "Shoot Your Fucking Questions with the Slam Master." Well, I personally don't prefer that name. I prefer uh, "Slam Asshole" or uh, "Slam Speedlunker." If you watch uh, South Park, yeah. Speed Lunker, well, I learned that we're from South Park. South Park's great. You learn English from there. This is how I got this far with English. Yeah. And then I move on to memes. Well, I started doing memes. Holy shit, you know, you, you know what? Like, uh, Gorepot's been around for about 15 years. Danny, the other day, Danny, the boss from uh, Brutal Mind, he's like, hey, you know, uh, Gorepot's been around for 15 years. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm 40. So I started when I was 25. Guys, when you're 25, do memes. You're gonna keep doing it for life. I can uh, guarantee you that, because uh, I'm 40. Well, like, some people say uh, I might be 60. You never know, because uh, Asians don't age. But I age a little bit, so. So, okay. So, here are all the questions. I got a list of questions in a notepad, as uh, people usually should. Okay, so here we go. So this is the first question from Meng Bruto six six six. Okay, when please Gorba Fatuous Rump played in Indonesia? I I've heard uh, different sayings for uh, different ways of pronouncing Fatuous Rump. It's called Fatuous Rump because Fatuous means dumb, Rump means ass, means dumbass. Uh, some people say flirtatious Rump. Well, that makes sense, but. Uh, I want the ass to be dumb, not flirtatious. So, okay, so Gorepot, I have to figure it out because uh, talk to this guy who does, uh, you know, those uh, fucking projectors on buildings, making it look, look all crazy and stuff. Yeah, I want to get one of those so I can start doing Gorepot shows because, uh, you know, light show is always fun. And Fat Shows Rump, we're trying to book uh, Hammer Sonic next year. Yeah, we're going to see a bunch of friends over there. I mean, if we do get in, they said uh, only one band per country, but like there was like a million Indonesian bands playing at Hammer Sonic. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah, so the, qu the answer to the question is uh, Fatuous Rump will play in Indonesia. If we can't play Hammer Sonic, we'll figure it out. We'll play in the streets. We'll play in the garage. Okay, second question. Yogi Slamming 21. Will Maggot Colony be active again, boss? Question mark. Because damn, I miss this band so much. He 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 he. Smiley face. Uh, Maggot Colony, I would say it's done for life. Uh, the big boss for the band has uh, different plans and goals. So he's pretty happy now, I guess. And I'm happy doing my stuff. So he's probably not going to be doing bands anytime soon. Maybe we'll see probably never yeah so this is why Kane and I started doing a fatuous rump because Kane was like I, I I got nothing to do with my drumsticks I got I got all these gears man I was like yeah let's do this bro and he's like yeah my name is cocaine okay the next question is uh, from uh, some more brutality I'm guessing it's slamming amor slam love Ooh. Yeah, okay, here we go. So, since when Boss Larry loved metal music, especially Slam? Uh, I, I got into uh, metal since 92, I think. Yeah, sadly, it's the uh, Black Album from Metallica. Well, I kind of like it back then, because I don't know, that was my first album. And then I got into Iron Maiden, then sidetracked to punk and uh, alternative rock. Yeah, never local music though. I don't know. I don't know why. It doesn't doesn't do anything. I don't like when people sing. I can't understand the lyrics. So melodies and uh, lyrics don't really mean much to me because I can't hear them. It's like uh, colorblind. I'm lyric blind or lyrics deaf. Yeah, yeah. So in slam wise, uh, I would say round about. I mean, I always liked uh, dying fetus, but I didn't know slam was a thing. I mean, I, I love, I skip to the parts where Dying Fetus just chugs. 
and I and it happens to be slam and I didn't know that and I love dying fees because of all that and probably not so much of the tech I mean I like the tech but more of the slam and so I would say unconsciously unwillingly I was in the slam since 99 and then when I found out slam was a thing was around 2004 and 2005 when soul seek was around so I just went on and typed in a bunch of strange keywords and started listening to a bunch of them so yeah yeah so that's the answer to the question so the next one is my homie Slamuel L. Jackson love that name the, when the meme first came out uh, Samuel Jackson was wearing an epicardic me uh, snapback that was great it was freaking great I loved that snapback I wanted it so I made it and that's how I become how I started uh, Fat Type of Lark because I wanted that hat on Samuel Jackson so much and yeah he had gold chains and grills that was great so the question is uh, how does one become this sexy I don't know I asked my mom she has no idea she abused me she's like no you can't have any food you have a pair of underwear and a pair of clothes you wear every day and this is what you get so uh, I don't know I guess from uh, wearing your underwear inside out when it becomes too dirty and then not having enough food makes turn makes you this way I guess I don't know I don't know I never thought about this I don't know thank you for thinking me I'm sexy I would uh I would fap to you boss anytime any time today for sure I'm down boss is hot boss is from Canada Canadians are hot I have this friend called Rob he's Canadian he has a big schlong okay so the next uh, question is from uh, CGI clown oh, that's that's awesome why well, I, I, I see a lot of his uh, comments here and there sorry boss I can't reply all the the comments on my post or whatever or stupid memes I post and the music I post because if I start replying, I'll be replying a thousand messages a night. I can't send all your packages, and I can't do uh, vocal pe features. Ah, God damn it, vocal features. Yeah, so I have to stop. I I can only like post by I, if I start liking posts, there'll be more messages. So I sometimes I can't like post. So okay, so he asked, uh, "What are boss's views on modern music, not just metal, but overall how it sounds and feels in this modern age?" Lots of love from Pakistan. Hi, 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 Habibi, Habibi, you're my friend, Habibi. Uh, I like your food a lot. Thank you guys from Pakistan for keeping it sick. <laughs> Nothing about politics. I mean, we need oil to. Uh, get the slam going because uh, without oil we don't have power and without power we can't record and without oil we can't make bass or guitars or that plastic thingy called the pickup yeah uh like i'm always into music since i was a kid like i was into this uh weird asian like ding 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 like instrumental thing like nobody was into that like nobody talked with a bunch of people they know what it is but they don't know they, they don't listen to it and I, I know like the songs I know the strong song structures or whatever and then so I joined uh, an orchestra kind of thing or like brass and percussion type of band not really orchestra without the strings so I played the uh, the clarinet because it's, uh, it's a it's black and you put your mouth on it so uh, I picked that instrument. The teacher was like, yeah, so uh, what do you want to play? I'm like, that thing is black, I play it. So, yeah, so like I'm very sensitive to sounds. I, I suck at like pitch and uh, music theory. I just do whatever that feels right. So I guess it came from there. And then so like I, I like, you know, whenever I watch cartoons when I was little, I, I like the, the theme songs and how like people make certain sounds. So like, Right now, I would say like since the 80s, music was kind of cheap back in the day. I don't know, that's what I thought, so I wasn't really into that. I, mean, I pre appreciate how like the, you know, the, the socks and the, the pro kids and the whole big hair look. And the 
new wave or now they call them a synth wave or vapor wave like back in the day it was just pop music so I wasn't feeling it I was kind of looking for something bizarre but then I you know in order to get an idea of what's underground you need to know like everything uh, there's once a friend who told me uh, you know like deicide they must know the bible like super well because uh they know how to shit on it you know if you want to fuck, fuck with the system you gotta know the system so like modern music right now i think it has progressed like insanely like they they probably took like all the, the i don't know uh, the music industry i think they take products or music that was uh as it is back in the day and then they just improvise them and make it better so now like even with the, the 808s and the cheap ass like synth stuff they made it really nice they figured out a way to make it really nice that's how it is with art and tattoos and so like yeah if you want to perfect your you know your arts and music you gotta keep doing you gotta suck then then you figure out a formula for your own it's like Back in the day, I know, like, uh, when I first found out about blast beats, it was like, duck, 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 duck. it was like me playing ba- blast beats, like, right now. But then, like, right now, people are doing, like, 340 blast beats, like, fucking Lord Marco and uh, Vistra Infest, the Japanese guy. Holy shit. I think you need those underwears to pull that off. Yeah, so, overall, I think it's great. I think the progression has made it really interesting. And with the 808s, with the... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, with all that stuff you need that 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 gap that that time to deliver that low end because if you see like the the duty cycles whatever the waveforms in order to complete a wave you need a certain you know period of time for that bass to li- deliver because it has a way longer wavelength compared to high pitched notes so i think with the the bpm they're using right now in the tempo i think they're doing it great they're, u- they're utilizing the sound they're really studying how the sound works and yeah I mean there's a lot of copycats and it gets really really boring but i think if nobody if nobody's ever done that i think it would never exist and and i i think that has something to do with slam nowadays like slam in general has slowed down a lot close to beat down like tempo and beat down is popular because you know everything is slowed down like back in the 90s everything was sped up so i don't know uh i, I tend to go the other way so this is why gore pot is always uh average 300 average 300 300 minimum yeah thank you boss okay so ne- thank you friend from pakistan the next question is uh mochto fan wahyu okay <laughs> very good name love that name what is first time band boss larry which ear and what album name Okay, first time band, like my virgin band. Uh, it was actually, uh, well, if I want to consider the black clarinet thing, instrument that you play in your mouth, that was the first band in 93, 92 or 93. But then I guess if you want to consider like a musical, like band, metal band, uh, it was uh, never played instruments in a band. I just bought a cheap bass that was like 70 bucks, Squire, and a cheap guitar. And I, I uh, went to school in SF, San Francisco State University, with uh, some friends I never met. And then they're like, hey, there's a black guy, there's a white guy, and there's a Mexican guy, they're missing an Asian guy. You want to play bass for them? I'm like, fuck yeah. So uh, I joined them. They do like uh, this weird reggae mixed with metalcore, mixed with uh, math metal, like. Uh, was it swarm ah shit what was that man yeah so like um, umbilical violence uh hella yeah math mixed with uh it's just a bunch of weird stuff there's a certain riff it was uh, the phone number so it goes six four zero it will be and then zero you skip uh, a note so that was crazy that was that was sick so we, we, we did a lot of shows all around here and there and we recorded like an ep and then the engineer uh, was based in Alameda. That was the first uh, IKEA at uh, the Bay Area. So yeah, we were right next to the IKEA. We couldn't go because uh, we started recording at night. He only fucking rendered the left track. So like in your earphone, there was only a left track. 
So we uh, we have recordings. I think I believe it's somewhere out there on the interweb. But uh, it was 2002 or one, I think. Yeah, it was very shitty, but we had a lot of fun. So next, uh, thank you for your question. That was great. Uh, so the next is from Fudi Nakmt. Fudi Nak Nakmt. If I coming to venue in Kaohsiung, may I ask picture with you, boss? Ah, yeah. Okay. So regarding that, you don't have to come to the venue. You can come out. I mean, if you're thinking about saving money, you can just come to the venue and not come in to the show. But if you want to come to the show, that'll be great. I highly recommend it. It was fun. Uh, yes, you can uh, ask for pictures anytime you want. Um, if I'm in the bathroom, taking a leak, taking a dump. If you hear <laughs> in, the, in the toilet, that's most likely me. And you can just holler and say, hey boss, can I get a picture with you? I'll open the door, invite you in, and we'll have a picture. Is that cool? That's cool. Okay. Thank you, boss. Makasi, I assume you're Indonesian because the other uh, races don't go to metal shows, except for white, South African, Canadians, some Swedish, not so much Taiwanese, Japanese, uh, they don't exist too much in Taiwan, and uh, Indonesians. Indonesians are great. Okay, so the next question is from uh, jezne.r. Are you stoned whenever you write music? or practice because you know gore pot uh i try not to because uh, whenever i write or practice i suck balls like uh i will lag a beat you know i i, I can't function when i when i when i'm stoned but i i try to get uh lit 24 uh, 7 before and then like it just it doesn't get me stoned anymore and i need stronger stuff and you know like a uh, gram in taiwan is fucking uh, 60 bucks now 60 bucks for like a you know they tell you it's a grand gram they weigh it with a freaking bag the bag is like what 20 grams so you get like what eight like 0.8 grams or 0.5 so, so you pretty much pay 3600 and the quality suck balls so i gotta save them you know so whenever i get like a a good stash i save them you know try and see what i come up with and it's so like try to a bunch of times written music i was like holy shit this is the best music ever you know in the, in the history the history of humanity listen to it the next day suck balls so i stopped doing that i, I got frustrated i'm gonna i can probably try again you know you know like, like uh, what was it uh there's a bunch of medication that they said that you can't use because it was it was bad but then like look at coke you know start using coke and fucking carbon hydrate like sodas and stuff back in the day you can't drink them but now it's like everywhere so you know whatever failed doesn't mean it's a failure i can try it again you're gonna know because if everything still is on it started to suck that's most likely I, I write music when i'm stoned thank you boss so the next question is incessant destruction okay great name oh man all these creative names okay larry how the fuck can you make all these noises in the band umbilical asphyxia he does like 10 different vocal styles oh i like how he like the boss switches perspective it's like talking directly to me and then he like addresses me as a third person without that's great uh no like i do like Umbilical asphyxia is big probably because me and Clayton look the same. So boss probably assumed that I'm doing all these different um, vocal styles. But uh, I do Predator uh, and anything in between. So it's like plus this. So I don't know how many different. I know there's a lot of different pitches. But uh, Clayton, he does more of an inhale kind of thing, so it's kind of like, <laughs> kind of like uh, Rick and the Cadaver, Don, Boss Don, love you, Boss Don. He's uh, great, my one of my major influences. Also, Matty Way, also my lover, uh, Angel. 
So, yeah, so it probably sounds like 10 different vocal styles from there. But actually, yeah, it's, I would say two techniques, but different pitches and different, and then because like the, the mouth form is different, so it sounds different. I know a lot of uh, vocals out there on YouTube, whatever, they do like this, uh, they record on the mic. So on the mic, you can pick up a ton of different, you know, different sounds and it's, it doesn't work in life situations. In life situations, you can probably hear like two, two different styles. So like, yeah. So like a lot of people are guessing what other um, vocals are doing. Like, you know, like uh, there's a lot of guesses for it. A lot of deathcore. Oh, that's a fry. That's a tunnel or whatever. You can't hear none of that shit life. None of that shit. So yeah. So I guess it's marketing or I don't know, like people trying to you know, chip your money for vocal lessons. But uh, yeah, do your own thing. Come up with your own thing. Then we can, like, you know, name differently. So if you have the Clayton throat, the Larry, uh, Larry gut, or whatever, whatever you want to call it, market it cool. Kind of like Big Mac, you know, like whatever I hear, Big and Mac, it makes me hungry. So the next is uh, Dr. Martin six six six. So Dr. Martin is from uh, Czech Slovakia. His name is Martin, but. Uh, Dr. Martin sounds better. He's, he looks intelligent as hell, but he's one of the biggest, you know, stoners in the world, uh, which is great. Uh, he looks nerdy as hell. Looks like his hair's falling off. I hope they don't. I, it's probably just the color, but uh, uh, Dr. Martin's great. He's the f few metal, like real metal heads in Taiwan. He doesn't look like one. I mean, that's the thing about metal heads. You don't have to look like a metal head. Like, if, if, if I'm a girl, I don't want to date a metal head. Like, they don't wash their shit. Uh, freaking the hair and then their boots are all the same i got this friend he had he bought like 10 different sets of the same thing so he he goes out and be like hey so i put on a different set of clothes and they look exactly the same uh not death metal logo same no like exactly like his lining for his hoodie is red and he had like 20 or 10 or 20 of them his boots are all the same they're from the same brand same make same jeans same belt so he's like, yeah, I put on a new set of clothes. I'm like, yeah, which one is it? Is this set number six or six? Not set number nine. He's like, no, this is a set number three. I'm like, fucking hell, man. So I wouldn't want to date that. Okay, what is the? Okay, so Dr. Martin asks, uh, what is the best Taiwanese dish? Uh, I'm assuming food, not satellite dish, and it will make me want to do more boom boom in the room. So. Uh, there's a there's liquor in Taiwan uh, because in the Asian culture Chinese culture they believe that whatever you eat is gonna improve on whatever physical attributes you have so let's say uh, you eat, eat an eyeball that's gonna make your eyeball better if you eat livers it's gonna make your liver better so like what they do is uh, uh, back in the day you know in the Qing Chong dynasty they saw this tiger boom boom in the room with this female tiger uh, yeah, so Dong set up Dong all erected Dong inserted to the female tiger Wham! The the dudes uh, who's trying to market this thing And trying to come up with or, you know, more products or whatever, whatever Whatever they have in mind They're Like, oh, that's a huge Dong So I'm going to eat that Dong And it's going to make my Dong look like a tiger So he went whoosh, Chopped off the, the live Dong It's live, it's uh, live in action Veiny Girthy dong, insert it, whoosh, pull it out, put it in liquor. So what they do is they don't actually eat the dong because if you eat the dong, it's only for one guy. They want they want to make it shareable, you know, like uh, like Google Drive. You want to make it shareable, so uh, they put in liquor. So the the dong juice or the veiny juice or whatever goes out into the liquor. So they just drink the liquor, get drunk at the same time, you get big dong. So. Uh, Boss Martin, uh, I don't know if that's a Taiwanese dish. It came from China, but it lands. It's here, so it's a Taiwanese dish. Get that. Eat a bunch of those, and uh, yeah, you will want the boom boom in the room and get another kid. Yeah, so uh, just in case uh, you look for boom boom in the room food, it's uh, yeah. Try this. Try this. Oh, somebody sent me a message. 
That's great. Okay. So the next is uh, Bobby the Cat 77834474. Hello, boss. I love cats. Um, I really hope this is a cat uh, asking questions. I have six cats and they don't ask me questions. They just bite me and uh, ask for food. Uh, how old were you when you got into metal and how did you get into okay, the the ends right there there's no nothing else it's just how do you get into I hope it's the same question metal not other stuff like boom boom in the room or whatever so how uh, how old was I uh, third grade I think yeah third fourth grade fourth grade probably 93 or something I'm 40 yeah I don't look 40 but uh, yeah around about there got into metal well, I didn't specifically got into just metal like because I, I listened to like other stuff you know, rock and roll uh, guns and roses or whatever but then back then it's called metal so I don't know there's no heavier stuff back in the day I mean there is but it's freaking hard to find like uh, death like in, uh you know atheist or uh, morbid angel way back in the day, back in the day dying for years I, I wish I did I don't know but when I hear it when I was a kid I don't know there's none of that. None of that in the world. None of that. You, you can't get exposed to that. My parents were like, no, stay away from that. It's evil. But uh, yeah, I would say fourth grade or fifth grade. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, boss. Cat. Oh, cat related questions. Look at this. I got cat hair on my mic. Okay. So boss, Cody Ching. Great guy. Great Indonesian metalhead in Taiwan. They started this uh, new page. Go follow them. They're gonna have like a bunch of act uh, posts or whatever, like activities in Taiwan. We're fucked at the moment, but uh, boss Kuri Ching, uh, it's account. I never know how to say it. Nick Kozin. Nick Kozin. Ah, okay. Nick Kozin. Dot X. Well, you need two more X's, boss. XXX. Boss, can you talk to the cat? I, I don't know if he's talking about a specific cat or talk to cats in general but there's one cat I can talk to but uh, nobody believes me but I talk to that cat and the cat responds but uh, yeah I can talk to cats but uh, nowadays besides that cat I think they don't know what I'm talking about so yes I can talk to a cat and yeah put out more contents with the Indonesians in Taiwan we need to know what's going on because uh like whenever I see an Asians at shows, I go and say, "Hey, mantap boss, mantap nyantat, makasi, me me kontor, makantai." You know, learn all that. That's a uh, really good ways to open up and say hi to uh, your friends in Indonesia. So what happens is, uh, I see them, they're okay. I turn around, uh, go mosh pit at a mosh pit at a show, and then I go back, and they're all drunk. I don't know where they got their liquor. And then I don't know if they're drinking. They just seem to be sitting there in a circle and just getting drunk. So yeah, tell us why you guys get drunk without liquor or if you don't want people to see you drinking liquor. But uh, yeah, if you do drink liquor, show it to me next time. Because uh, I got to make sure I'm not hallucinating. Okay, so next up is uh, Austrian Death Machine. So, uh, Lou the Slam Lord. Okay, he calls himself Slam Lord. That's great. We have different uh, Slam gods and Slam Lord. I'm, they call me Slam Master, but I don't, I don't know what that is. Slam Master Bait. Shin. So, Lou, Boss Lou, you don't sleep and you keep writing music and then you want everything to be retarded. I know. That's that's my jam. What, what, what is the, the whole story behind the creation of Gorepot is I from just wanting to pull, put all your crazy ADHD induced thoughts into music. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, cheers from Taiwan, boss Austria. Uh, the most famous Austrians in the world are uh, Hitler and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, great people. One guy's uh, birthday is 420. Uh, guess which one? So what is this? Oh, uh, oh, like. Back then, I was at a, I was in a deathcore band, so like it's getting a lot of uh, attention in Taiwan. We're headlining, we're playing a lot of shows, and then 
that I really want to do slam. I was like, hey guys, so uh, you want to do slam? They're like, fuck no. So slam in general, I don't know why in uh, Taiwan they think it's grindcore. I mean, no offense to grindcore, but it's not grindcore. God damn it. So they keep thinking it's shitty production. Not saying grindcore is shitty production, but you know that that's what they're thinking. They they said, oh shit. I can't hear jack shit, I can't hear the guitars, I can't, and people do like weird vocals, it's not like a proper thing. I mean, what, what is a proper thing? Like deathcore or metalcore, like anything that has to sound mainstream, I, I don't know, because like, what if the people in the mainstream start pig squealing? You know, pig squeals would, would make sense. You know, so it's not really about whatever you categorize as whatever, you know. So. So I was like, okay, well, here's another option to, uh, you know, different vocal lines. Back in the day, I told my band members, hey, you gotta do more dissonance. That was back in 2008. The word wasn't so popular back in the day, you know, aside from music theory, theoretical people or uh, professors. So I was like, yeah, you gotta do all these like dissonant chugs. They're like, fuck no, we, do, we, don't, we don't do that shit. So like, I think two years later, uh, it was a, Suicide Silence or Chelsea Grin or whatever, or Jock Poor Cowboy, they started doing a bunch of dissonance. Got popular. So they're like, yeah, this is the mainstream sound. I'm like, fuck you, man. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I'm in a popular band. I'm in a mainstream band or whatever. That's just to get me, you know, going in the scene and getting noticed and just trying to see what I can do with music out there. So I just started doing the core pop because I want people to understand there's more than just whatever's categorized as a mainstream stuff. You know, like uh, Valentine's Day, people buy roses. Why not like fucking ass flower, you know, or chrysanthemum, like for your you know, other lovely other half, why roses? You know, I, I because everything is marketed and built in your brain so you think a certain way so yeah that's really one of the reasons and yeah of course i love gore horror movies and pot like not just horror movies like if you mention the horror movies in taiwan they think you're talking about ghost or uh, ghost movies or, or whatever i'm talking about like splatter comedy shit like that so i must have comedy in life because you know why suffer why <laughs> suffer from music why make your music sound all emo and sad when you can have happy music you know why do you want to listen to sad music if your life is shit already you know what i mean so like comedy is a way of uh, you know balancing out so i think pot as well of course so you put it all together you got adhd well being stoned and then that score pot and i want to reflect that we want to be i want to reflect all my me mental you know, stories into music so this is a. Uh, this is it. This is what it is. Thank you, boss. Thank you, boss. Um, 420, Sig Heil, and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, next is uh, Mando Wall with uh, four L's. Hello, boss. How how you doing? How many tattoos do you have, boss? I have... I don't know how many I have. I, I don't know if, like, connected tattoos are one tattoo or the Steve is one tattoo is done in one session but uh, I have had um, around about 50 sessions uh, yeah 50 sessions so I would say 50 times 3 so 150 tattoos I don't know if you count like needles like one dot as a tattoo I probably have billions of tattoos if a ta one dot is a dollar I have billions of dollars I wish yeah uh, re highly recommend uh, getting tattoos uh, I have a, a lot of friends right now who don't have tattoos and they don't got girlfriends so that's a problem I think that's the, the main problem because uh, if everybody has tattoos you don't you look like a freak so ha huh. guess how we feel back in the day listening to slam ha huh. okay get more tattoos uh, Indonesians in Taiwan get more tattoos because uh, you know you guys listen to slam okay so the next uh, question the final question thank you all for the questions these are very interesting questions yeah I yeah I'll answer them thank you boss well I already did and this is the last one ritual underscore video 
Okay, how did you learn to do vocals and are you using false chord or fry for your gutturals? Oh, at fries. Do, 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 are always at fries. Well, if you listen to radio, fries electronics, you guys are the shizness. So, uh, so like I said, back in the day, I listened to Dying Fetus and, you know, his vocals are super deep, like, <laughs> so I have no idea how he does it. So I try to imitate it, suck balls. I was like this uh, young kid who does like, <laughs> who tries to figure it out. So like, I was like, I shit man, I, I want to do gore pot and I can't, I, I have to stop sucking. So I started, um, you know, listening to like, Mongolian throat singing monk singing like <laughs> stuff like that <laughs> my wife hates it so yeah so you hear like two um two um vocal lines one is one is so trying to figure out like how you do shit like that because Eventually, I can start doing the, but how do you get the? So, um, yeah. So one day I was taking a dump. I've been trying different ways. So like it, it sounds like it's really deep, right? So it has to come from down there. So yeah, a lot of people talk about diaphragms, but what are diaphragms? They, you know, in Asian cultures, uh, Chinese herbal medicine, medicine they call it a. Uh, this pool of uh, air, pool of air, yeah, pool of air. So you squeeze with your pool of air out. So because I did clarinets uh, when I was a kid, so clarinets are, um, you know, you blow into this instrument device, which is called the reed, and then your the notes you play are, you know, those little buttons, buttons, yeah. I don't know what they're called. I played them, but I don't know what they're called. So you, you push on the so you have an activating device like a guitar. You activate vibration, you activate you know, energy. So I, w- I was thinking, oh, okay, the pool of air uh, is probably where I push my air. So I go, <sighs> okay, I can do that. But where does it go? So your, your reed in your clarinet or your strings or whatever, or your, your notes would be, you know, it's the same because you have you got to control the different vibrations so the vibrations got to be the same so I, i'm thinking okay so the nose probably comes comes from your mouth shape because that's the only way to uh you know change your tone and sound so your air comes from the bottom so guess what like <coughs> your tongue is your reed this is where you generate your gutturals so it, it sounds deep because the sound actually starts from the your lower half of your pool of air so or d- your diaphragm so it comes from there and you just squeeze the very bottom part of your your um tongue so the tip of your tongue and the mid part of your tongue does all these like <coughs> like uh, when you it's just like when you're speaking or talking or, or you know saying bullshit whatever whatever so yeah so the the end of your tongue clamps onto your throat and then you try you try to push it out kind of like you know farts you squeeze on something really tight so one day when i'm taking a dump my ass was clapping and then my ass is doing so okay well your ass is clapping so that's that has to be this the device that generates the sound so i'm like fuck it i'll, I'll try a different uh, breathing method you know when you talk when you speak your air comes from here you you vibrate on your vocal cords so i have to relearn how to breathe with this so uh, false chord from my impression it's uh it's kind of like a falsetto you know high i guess to get that thing and then fry would be like you're kind of like clamping but you're not really gutturaling your ah, i guess so probably your combined probably the same similar effect but 
I wouldn't say it's a fry or false chord because I I'm not sure what those are I uh, heard some people talk about it so yeah that's how I learned uh, I pretty much learned everything by myself except for clarinets blowing on uh, black tubes because that was for school and then this teacher just like yeah you can never stop playing a clarinet because you're good I didn't know if I was good or not I stopped playing because I thought I sucked I kind of regret it but I'll get into it because uh, you know my blowing muscles are weakened and I try to blow on it it just doesn't work anymore but uh I'm trying to build it again so uh, we'll see we'll see we'll probably add clarinets to a slam in the future we'll be like no one gets out alive banjo but clarinet so yeah that's uh yeah oh yeah I learned uh, bass too and guitars on my own I didn't know how to so I still suck now and I learned how to song write uh, from sucking so yeah I'll show my uh, gutturals again so if you if you can tell me if it's a uh, false chord or fry let me know yeah thank you boss thank you for the questions I'll see you next time peace thank you boss Danny thank you boss brutal mine month